Hello, this is Torior, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for Cossacks as Mazovia. We are going for the back to the Piast achievement. I'm currently conquering Poland, however, unfortunately, Bohemia took the capital of Kraków, which is slightly problematic. Slightly. Poland entered the military alliance with Lithuania, which means they will probably be called into the war soonish. I might want to end the war now. Let's... No, 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 no. Oh crap, I gave them the Siege of Berlin. Let's Siege Potsdam quickly. Then maybe... No, I don't think they can be called into the war. And maybe I can get away with giving Potsdam to Bohem Bohemia. Let's see. Because I... Yeah, let's see I do that. Wait a minute, why can't I get... Bohemia does not want it. Oh, hell. Okay, maybe I can give them Novisonge, because I have to give them something in order to... in order to not upset them too much. And I do want to keep the alliance. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, they are interested in Novosonge. Do I need it for creating Poland? Uh, no, we need Kraków, Kalisz, Sierac and Sandomierz. I can't give Kraków to Bohemia, that would be stupid. So let's see if... Uh, let's clear the offer just to be sure. I take those three and Bohemia gets this one. That's actually acceptable. I might even get more for myself. No, they won't accept anything else. I suppose that could work, and then we would quickly... Oh, they're getting less than expected. Reducing their trust by 20. That would be reducing their trust by 11. And if I gave it to them, that's too little as well. Maybe I don't need to give them anything. What's our mutual trust? Trust is 44. Interesting. Let's, let's give them one province. I don't want to risk losing them. Let's get some money. 66. Would that be sufficient to get another province? Yes, if we... Yes, if we siege more. Is Bohemia the leader here in Berlin? Yes, they are. I'm not happy about that. Let's send our troops. Let's send our troops to Podole, Podolia. Uh, so that we can... Uh, no, Lithuania is hostile. Really? Why? Peace over from Poland. What do you want? Sandomierz, Nowy Sąd. That's it? No. Decline. If we take this, maybe Bohemia will get less upset if we give them less. Oh, it could go the other way around because they're about to take Berlin. I think I should just end the war. Although I could take more. Do I want one more province? I might. Which one do I want? Przemyśl or Tarnów? That would encase them inside us, making it difficult for someone else to annex them. And how about aggressive expansion? Let's look at Brandenburg. 48. And that gives them 49. Yeah, the further the better. Let's do it like that. We'll fragment Poland a little bit, but it's... it's um, Acceptable. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I need to give some Polish land to Bohemia. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's do that. Bohemia likes me almost the same. They don't trust me anymore. 
but we do have some favors. And yeah, we've done it. We have taken what we wanted and did not give away what we couldn't give away. Can I fabricate a claim right away? Probably not. Right, um, I'll, um, rivals. I'm not sure I want to select any other rivals. We will get some hate for the aggressive expansion that we just achieved. Um, let's call the provinces. Do I have war exhaustion? I do have some, for, some war exhaustion, so let's... Should I want just let it tick down? Maybe I should just let it tick down. I will core everything. Do I need to increase autonomy? Unfortunately, I do need to increase autonomy. I can't be dealing with rebellions. Okay, everybody get home. Bohemia doesn't trust me anymore, but we do like each other, so the alliance should be fine. Lithuania doesn't like me. I hope they won't rival me. Poland, can I guarantee your independence? Mm, that would be in influence actions, right? They are far too rich and powerful for our guarantees. Really? Are you sure? Okay, I will need to wait for the truce to expire again, which is 12 years from now. Austria has a civil war. That makes them much less valuable as an ally. I'd actually like Bohemia to be selected as the next emperor. Would that be possible? No, not really. Okay, let's improve relations with our allies a little bit more. If I decide to attack Poland again... I will have the help of Hungary, I think. Uh, let's lower military maintenance, and I can still promise them land. Even if I go back on this promise later. I'm not sure how... Maybe just to be sure um, how the things work, and... Know the consequences of our actions. In the next war, we will promise territorial gains, but not give them. Yeah, so we'll take all the remaining Polish land for ourselves and see how that works out for us. Right, not much more to be done in the near future. Pomerania dislikes me. I will improve relations with them just to make sure they don't start a coalition. Uh, right, Moscovy and Lithuania now hate each other. Enemies, us, Teutons and Hungary. I suppose I could truce break, but I really dislike doing that. Mm, Austria is still the Emperor. They don't seem to want to change their attitude to friendly with me. Uh, any disputed successions in the area? Muscovy, Lithuania and France. Interesting. Lithuania hates me. Uh, growth of cities attracts serfs. Mm, no, no, I can't risk losing morale of armies. Would you get an alliance with me? No. We are neutral, which is fine with me. Denmark? How about an alliance? Almost. Actually, Denmark seems like a logical choice, although it would be a defensive alliance. It would be a defensive alliance because they wouldn't join my war against Poland. They're too far away and so on. I think, at least. The Teutonic Order might be a different matter whatsoever. Alright. We're in the positives with everyone. We are surrounded by friends. Oh, let's take the mission to reduce over... Oh, crap, it disappeared. I wanted to take the mission to reduce over extension. Improve our prestige. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, yeah, let's just... Um, oh, let's... Um, yeah, let's get no leader here. Uh, that is because when the leader is in an army, he has a higher chance of dying. Oh, Austria has a pretender. If the pretender takes over, they will lose the emperor title. Who would get it then? Austria again, apparently. Hmm. If Bohemia was the emperor, I would be able to join the empire. No, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, we have given up on that. When we took all the land, we are no longer eligible to join. Well, that was a thought, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Let's get the diplomat from Pomerania. They won't stop hating me anyway. 
and fabricate some claims in Poland. Actually, I should probably designate those provinces as special interest. Can I do that? I don't know if it will change anything, but maybe they will be given to me now? I don't know. We're still friendly with our allies. Oh, now Lithuania has rebels. That's not good for them. Maybe Teutonic Order will attack them? Oh, right. You have a truce since you were helping Lithuania get their independence. Poland is very weak now. Poland is very weak now. They only have uh, two allies, but they don't have the vassal anymore. So, Denmark. Do you want to be my ally? Maybe if we had a royal marriage. Apparently not right now. Okay, let's not get one then. Muscovy. I thought I had a marriage with you. Hmm, weird. Our diplo rep is lower because we're overextended. Maybe that's why they didn't want to accept it. No, oh, I before the war I forgot to increase my admin and my military tax, so I deserve all I got. I should have done that. And I will now take an idea. We could take an administrative idea and just have lowered coin costs, but I don't think that's a good choice. We could take influence, or we could take diplomatic. Trade is something worth exploring as well. I don't want a military idea because we don't have a lot of military points. Okay, I will take uh, Diplo ideas. And we can immediately get two levels done. Mm, this is Succession in Muscovy and Lorraine. And also remember that we will soon have the same dynasty as uh, Hungary unless uh, Austria invades. Right, first core is done. First core is done. Oh, and I do get a bonus diplomat, so I will work on my relations with my allies. Well, not allies, with my non-enemies next to my borders. I could actually get an alliance with Pomerania. I wonder if they would help me. Can I get an alliance with Brandenburg? No, no, I couldn't. But I could get one with Pomerania. Interestingly, you know what? Let's get a royal marriage with Pomerania. And then an alliance. Mm, still won't accept it. Well, at least they will be less likely to attack us. And I'm not, I am not going to attack them right now, because that would put me into war with Austria. Which is not a good idea. Okay, relations with Moscovy have been improved. Are you willing to accept a royal marriage yet? No, no you're not. But you're almost willing to accept a royal marriage. Maybe when I'm no longer overextended. Let's fabricate more claims in Poland, because I want everything. I sort of regret giving Novy Sonch to Bohemia right now. Shouldn't have done that. I wonder, would my, other, my allies join? Hungary would. Bohemia. Truce, favors, trust, accepting would destabilize. Okay, so the trust has actually changed things a little bit. What if I propose territorial? No. So because of the lowered trust, they would not join my war right now. Maybe the trust will increase over time. It's minus 18. Minus 18. When I get more Diplo rep, they will join. So maybe it's good that I gave it to them. But I don't want to give um, anything more to them. Free stability. Yes, please. Always that. Oh, Austria and Hungary no longer have an alliance. That's interesting. I could even attack Austria right now. Nobody would join me. Well, I could. Why could I attack Pomerania? Again, nobody would join me. Because, um... We broke a promise. We didn't break a promise to give land, you idiot. What? I didn't. No. I gave them... Yeah, they wanted more. So maybe I shouldn't. should have given them nothing. Stupid bastards. Well, maybe I should have just tried to get all the sieges myself and be sure to get them myself. 
Now, we do have some free force limit right now, so let's get one unit of cavalry and two units of infantry to get to our force limit. As uh, autonomy decreases, because I, I have increased autonomy to make sure we don't get any rebels, when autonomy decreases our force limit might increase slightly. I can build a, build a marketplace. Um, is this a center of trade? No, it's not. I don't think I have any centers of trade. I will once I have taken Krakow. Right, so um, to form the Polish nation, we only need Krakow. And that's it. We will become Poland, if that happens. And that will be the achievement. Pretty quick run, don't you think? Okay, let's increase the speed. We no longer need to improve relations with Pomerania. They would actually accept an alliance. Let's do that. Would they join me in a war against Poland? Uh, they won't because of the favors. I didn't break a freaking promise. I gave them land. Well, at least now I know how it works. You either give them a lot or you don't need to worry about it at all and give them nothing. Oh, I didn't realize I had a loan. Must have been an event because we are doing pretty well in terms of money lately. Do I want increased for the... Oh, yes, I definitely do need to have increased discipline. Discipline is super powerful. Okay, let's get you all into the capital. We do have a lot of manpower. And I can afford the next idea, which is not very good cost of reducing war exhaustion, but it unlocks the yearly prestige increase. Which can actually be beneficial. Can I still get the mission to improve my prestige? I will do that. Let's get the mission to improve my prestige. Maybe we can get some free stability from it. Oh, and I have free diplomats that are not doing anything. I will improve relations with the Ottomans just to make sure they don't become my enemy. I will improve relations with Lithuania. Wait a minute, you're supporting the independence of Genoa. Genoa is a subject of whom? Crimea, really? Didn't realize that. Hmm. Who else hates you? The Teutons, but the Teutons hate me as well. And they are hated by Bohemia, Lithuania, Poland, and some other people. Let's make sure we are on good terms with Muscovy. If we get more Diplo rep, which we will once we get the proper idea, then we might get a royal marriage that would get our dynasty on the throne. Okay, Lithuania is done. Let's make sure that we keep this up. I wonder how much time will pass before uh, this uh, negative modifier expires. Uh, I will gain mercantilism, thank you. I'm not gaining a lot of money from trade, but hey. I could rival someone else, but there's no point. Oh crap, we lost our awesome general. That is very unfortunate. But what can you do? Let's improve relations with Brandenburg, since we do have a free diplomat, and I also have a free uh, free relations slot, so possibly I, I may, maybe I should get a royal marriage with them as well. I was holding that for Muscovy, but it's not very likely to happen before we get to Diplorep here. Should I go for Diplo Focus while we're working on the idea group? Probably not, but it's it's tempting. Okay, let's get the next military level. Oh, I think we have new... Yes, we have new units. Let's make sure to use them. And uh, still dispute the succession in Muscovy. Maybe I, in fact, should go for Diplo Focus. Riga wants military access. Who are you fighting? You're fighting Denmark. Sure, whatever. You can have it. Getting into the Empire will... I mean, we can't join anymore. Getting some land in the Empire will be problematic now. So, do I want a royal marriage with Brandenburg, or do we wait for Muscovy? I think I'll wait for Muscovy. Maybe we can get the proper idea before that thing happens. I will actually go for Diplo Focus, because um, Diplo Rep helps us in uh, securing alliances as well. I mean, securing their help in the war. And we are accumulating enough favors to just 
ask them to uh, come and help us. Uh, I will recall the diplomat from Brandenburg. Yeah, should have never given it to them. Give it to them. Mm. Ottomans relations improved. Not that it really matters. Let's improve relations all around because we do have the capability. We have all of all of those diplomats. So if we work on our relations everywhere, we won't get a coalition once we have uh, conquered more land from Poland. Who else was in the coalition? You, maybe? No, they would accept an alliance now. Would Austria? No. Oh, free stability and free prestige. Wonderful. Well, almost free. Now, we have the mission to improve our prestige. If we play it wisely, we might be able to have it saved up for the moment when, when we need it. For now, we just have to wait for the truce to expire. When will that happen? Five more years. That's quite a long time. We lost the theologian, but I was not using the theologian. Uh, I should probably fabricate more claims. Do I have claims everywhere? No, no, I don't. I don't have claims everywhere. Let's get the diplomat from Sweden. He's less relevant because they're a subject. Mm -hmm. And fabricate. I want all this land. Poland doesn't have a lot of... Mm, doesn't have a lot of um, soldiers. Okay, right, next level. Improve relations happens quicker. Okay, and we will get improved fort defense. Well, it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the diplo rep increase. That will give us all kinds of benefits. And we have decreased development cost because of the burgers' loyalty. Hmm. That might be sufficient to revoke some provinces from them. So if I take it from them... If I take it from them... That'll decrease their loyalty. And I think that's a good idea, because... Well, maybe not right now, because... Um, the autonomy is capped at 25%. The minimum is 25%, because um, it's controlled by an estate. When it goes down to 25, I should probably revoke it. So it can go down to zero. Like here, it belongs to Schlachter. Oh, Lithuania is fighting the Golden Horde. Good for me, because they are allied to Poland, which means they will be distracted. And will be less able to help them. Now, what year was that? 83. Three more years. Let's recall the diplomat from Saxony. And fabricate more claims. Fabricate more claims, get ready to fight. Good government politics. Good can get free power points or money. I will take power points over money almost always. We're about to cap an admin point, so let's take that. We can now build the workshops. And I have a new decision to increase our missionary strength and taxes. Wonderful. Okay, so... Do I want to build workshops or marketplaces? Not really. That would give us some trade power, but we don't have any centers of trade right now. And workshops. Well, building one in our capital seems to be a good idea. Let's get one. We will need the money for troops, but not for a while. Oh, we lost the air. Crap. Was he good? I don't remember if he was good. He was good. Mm. I don't want an air with a weak claim, so let's take the temple. And we got a new one. 542. Better. Much better than the one that was proposed to us. Great. If we get the education event, which will probably not happen because we're not in the Regency Council, I would, I would choose the military thing to see how much we can improve our skills by. Saxo Luxembourg. Relations improved. Good. Maybe I should work on Teutonic Order as well. I mean, they won't become a friend, but... Oh, threaten war. They would not accept. Can I threaten war to Poland? Interesting. Well, for the province starts if they do not back down. 
Uh, I don't want a truce with them. Can I threaten war to... No, we're allied. Huh. Oh well, interesting mechanic. Let's continue. Uh, let's make sure that our relations with our uh, allies are good before we go to war. Government corruption, autonomy change or inflation. That is how much autonomy. 10 years, monthly 0 0.05. That is 20 months for one. Uh, I suppose that is not that bad. Some autonomy. I don't want inflation. Lost an inquisitor, but I don't think I was using it. Influence of Schlachta is decreasing, which is actually good because um, the super high influence of Schlachta was the death of the great Commonwealth, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. So that's a good thing that the influence of Schlachta is declining. When will my claim here expire? February 1499. Okay, relations with Bohemia have been incre increased, improved. I wonder if Lithuania will join the war. They're still at war with Golden Horde, Ryzen, and Circassia. They would definitely be busy. Oh, I lost a advisor. Mm, that's very unfortunate. I was counting on that Diplo Rep guy. Theoretically, do I have enough diplomatic reputation to counteract low trust? Hungary will join with Bohemia. Yeah, I don't have enough Diplo Rep to counteract low trust. I will have some more when the ideas hit. So let's wait for the idea. Mm. Because I'll be able to do and get it next month. Okay, let's get the idea, then we choose the advisor. Now we have more diplomatic reputation. So let's see if that will be enough to counteract our low trust with Bohemia. Almost. Almost, but not enough. So I do need a diplo rep advisor. And, and that means to have Bohemia in this war, I need to hire a diplo rep advisor. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of money. What I need to do is fire those guys one by one because I don't want to lose too much money and when the month takes I'll get a new one but the relations over time let's always fire the cheapest to fire let's wait again not what we wanted fire this one I do have some money to spend and I do need that diplo rep and here he is Great. Now Bohemia will join our war. And that will start in two years from now, right? January 83. Less than two years. Actually, a year and a bit. So when autumn comes, we will start preparing our armies for the fight. I wonder if Pomerania will join me. Probably not. How many favors do we have? How quickly do they accumulate? Um, not quickly enough. All right then. In a year we go to war, but that will happen in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you did enjoy the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.